A man who called himself an avenging angel was in court today. 41-year-old Jason Vukovic is accused of violently assaulting men with a history of sexual offenses involving children. KTVA 11's Lauren Maxwell was at the courthouse where Vukovic was arraigned today. Vukovic is facing a host of charges, including robbery and assault. Police say he tracked his victims to their homes and attacked them in late June. And they say in one case he beat a man so severely with a hammer that he fractured his skull. Now, these are just allegations at this time. Jason Vukovic had little to say in court today except to enter a plea of not guilty to charges involving four different men. According to charging documents, he told police he found information about his victims on the state's sex offender registry. It's something anyone can do. Names, pictures, addresses, it's all there online, including the place where uh, this man lives. So the guy hit me in the head six times. Wesley Demarest is one of several men Bukovic is accused of assaulting. I feared he was going to kill me. He says Bukovic broke into his home in the middle of the night and beat his head with a hammer. He said, I'm going to, I'm an avenging angel. I'm going to meet out justice for the people you hurt. In 2006, Demers pled no contest to attempted sexual abuse of a minor. He's been on the list a long time. I get off when I'm 72. He says he understands why the list exists, but after the attack, he wonders if it offers too much information. I don't think that the place they work should be listed. Um, I don't think their address should be public knowledge. I think the name should be enough. He says he thinks about his crime every day, how it's affected his own life. How long do I have to pay for it every time I get turned down for a job? But then he remembers his victim. How long is she going to have to live with it? And, yeah, okay, so I'll live with it forever. Then. In some ways, he's resigned to his fate. Demarest was required to register as a sex offender for 15 years after his conviction, which means he has five years left. And as for Jason Bukarich, if he's convicted of all the charges, he could get more than 30 years in prison. Lauren Maxwell, KTVA 11 News.